Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Shuttle to pivot into an internal network. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter. And if you want to be part of my channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. And also, guys, if you end up liking this video, make sure you like it and do share this video with your friends. And also coming to uh, today's video. So today I will be using uh, a tool called as S Shuttle and uh, to do pivoting so let me give you a brief about pivoting so let me uh, take an example so i'm using Vreet network in order to uh, demonstrate this attack so you can try to build your own net uh, like own network within your vmware or virtual box and you can try that out so pivoting is a concept in which you try to uh, like uh, like access the internal network so for example uh, th th there is a network here so where uh, from my kali machine i can only try to access this particular production server which has an ip of 10.200.73.200 so i'll show you so i can just ping to uh, 200 okay so you can see i'll i'm able to ping that so cause it is only i can uh, only from it can be accessible by anyone okay so that is the thing and also if you can observe uh, previously that there are some other uh, uh, servers within that network so you can see there is a git server so which is based on windows so its ip is 150 so let's try that so let's try to ping it first of all and you can see you cannot ping it okay so this is what an internal network relies so this is like a configuration okay so you may be having doubt like how it is done so it is a sort of configuration okay where uh, one machine or one server will be public facing like anyone can try to access that and it uh, and that particular server is going to have some sort of like internal network so in the real time network pen test or in many exams like uh, whenever you're doing some uh, uh, giving some practical exams like OSCP or some PNP or some stuff like that so there is always going to be some sort of a scenario where they'll give you a network and also if you want to practice to uh, practice those exams so Vreet is one of the good networks so you can try that out uh, you can link will be in the description below so guys uh, to be clear so I was successfully able to compromise this thing so SSH uh, root okay so like I compromised this particular uh, uh, machine which you can see this is the machine uh, what you call this Linux server so I was able to compromise it and now my goal is like in order to access the internal network which consists of two other IPs so that is my goal and uh, by as you can see that by default I cannot try to access them okay so I should use some uh, tools like a chisel or some other things in order to get into that uh, to do the pivoting uh, stuff so there comes a tool called as s shuttle so or uh, you can call like you can break it like ssh and uh, uh, some kind of word so I call it like s shuttle so whatever you can call it with whatever you want Okay, so this S shuttle is like going to uh, like forward all the traffic. Okay, so from your machine, uh, like uh, it is going to forward all your traffic to that machine which you already compromised. Okay, so for example, I'll show you how you can do that. And before that installation part, so it is pretty simple. So I'm going to exit here. And also the only requirement that you uh, that you should have for this SSH uh, S shuttle or something like that is like you need to have an active SSH connection or some sort of credential so that you can connect to the SSH server or SSH uh, uh, like target uh, SSH on your target machine. So that is the main concept that you need to do. And in order to install this, so sudo uh, apt, sorry, sudo apt install SSH utdle. Okay, so this is as simple as that. So you can hit that and it is going to install for you. And once it is done, so uh, the best thing that we always do is like, uh, hyphen hyphen help and ignore the previous commands cause like I already I'm been using this tool since for some time and you can see some options and the only thing that we basically use is like so uh, so like in order to define that we successfully pivoted into that network so I'm going to take an example so this git server is going to have some sort of like a web page so I'll try to open my uh, Firefox for a while and I'd, I'll try to access that particular URL and let's see uh, whether I, uh, without pivoting, whether I can access it or not. Okay, so uh, the reason why I'm trying to do like this is like, uh, 
like by default windows machines don't allow ping okay so that is the reason so this is the ip for example you can see it is not going to load up cause like you cannot access it okay so let's now try to use this as shuttle and we can now we can see that we can will be successfully able to access it so ssh uh, u t p l e and hyphen r okay give the username that you already compromised or all the credentials that you have so and give the ip uh, which you compromised okay so we uh, I'm telling you the scenario once again. We compromise this uh, public facing server. So this is the uh, thing and the user that I compromised is root. Okay, so 200.73.200 and pretty simple give the like uh, uh, network interface. Okay, or the net the subnet that you want to try. Okay, so 200.73.0 slash 24 so this is the subnet that i'm going to give so this is the subnet that we basically do so this is how you basically do it okay uh, a shuttle okay so give r for like reverse connection or like uh, to go through everything like to forward everything and uh, give the username as well as the ip address of which you already compromised and also give a network or some sign of a or some uh, sort of like subnet and you may also give like some other subnets as well okay like you can give if you have any other subnets like you can just give that okay so you can give as many as uh, if this particular server has so that is the thing and uh, also like uh, how to you may be having doubt like how you can find out that the, the what are these ip so once you connect to that machine okay so try to see the network configurations like if it is on uh, linux try to run some command like if config or ip space and you can see all the interfaces and even if on windows as well you can run like ip config or some stuff like that and you can see all the network interfaces and from there you can get a good idea that okay these are the internet network so these are the ips of the internet network and some stuff like that okay so that is it so now you can simply hit enter okay so it is going to ask you for the password but it is going to show me a small example like the permission is denied okay cause like this but in order to connect to the server you need to have some kind of file called id underscore rsa file so this is like a uh, file a key kind of thing so in order to like uh, use that key so you can use something like this so you can run some default ssh commands like this so like i'm, I'm going to provide an id rsa uh, file here so which is available in this location itself so i can hit something like this but still it is going to give me an error cause like a broken pipe issue cause like uh, within this subnet so there is there is this ip right so you can exclude this ip so this is simple so hyphen x and you can exclude this ip and you can hit enter and that is it pretty simple so now you can see it is connected to the server pretty simple okay so what we did is like uh, a shuttle so we gave the username uh, which we compromised and also the target uh, machine which we already compromised and also the subnet okay so the reason why i gave this exclude option is like since uh, the comp the target that we compromised is already in this subnet so that's the reason i excluded that so even though if you face an error like this you can exclude the ip that you already compromised and you can uh, remove that and since i'm having an id rsa file so uh, without i don't have any credentials here but sometimes if you have a credentials it is going to ask uh, it is going to ask that for you and you can enter the credentials and you can get the same thing like connected to the server thing okay in order to run that so there is an option hyphen hyphen ssh and hyphen cmd and you can run any command so there are some other ssh options as well you can try to run that so you don't need to provide ip username or anything like that okay pretty simple so now you can see it is connected so this is like very easy tool so now i'll do a reload here uh, now you can see you'll be getting some sort of an error you can see uh, now you are able to successfully able to connect to this previously we are not able to do that okay so I, I can show you via ping but since it's a windows machine by by default on windows this ping are blocked so that's the reason i'm um, i'm just showing you via this web so that is it guys like how you can use this shuttle for like uh, pivoting so this is like a pretty simple tool and also really fast enough so i tried to pivot into this particular uh, machine via chisel so i hope uh, pivoting like most of the people know uh, like uh, like if it if, if something comes to your mind regarding pivoting they remember a tool called a chisel but uh, for me in my use case like chisel is bit slow so like since i already have an ssh connection so i try to use a shuttle okay so and i got the connection really fast okay but uh, the the advantage of this tool is it's easy to use okay you don't need to like uh, use multiple tools like you don't need to transfer any like in for example if you take chisel you need to transfer a chisel payload okay a chisel binary to that your target machine and from there you need to create some kind of a client situation and 
on your ta- on your um, attacker machine you need to create some kind of a server situation and also in order to connect to in order to do anything you need to use a proxy chains for that so it is going to be a bit hard for you and also guys uh, in future i'll try to cover this chisel as well like how to use a detailed guide on how to use chisel so if you want that video so do let me know in the comment section and also really thank you for watching this video until the end so i hope you learned something new uh, regarding this tool and if you do just like it and uh, this is satvik guys signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you